Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today I'll be showing y'all how to make a traditional southern hot pepper sauce. This is one of the easier recipes using chili peppers, and it's a great all-around sauce for when your dish needs a little bit of acid and heat. Make sure to check the drop-down description below for a list of the ingredients and supplies necessary for this recipe. Then, let's get started. Starting out, you'll need, well, hot peppers. And make sure you have enough peppers to fill whatever bottle you plan on using. I have about a half pound of Tabasco peppers here, which is way more than enough to fill the five ounce hot sauce bottle I'm working with. Essentially, just make sure you have enough peppers to absolutely stuff whatever bottle you settle on. Tabasco peppers are the traditional pepper of choice for this recipe, but just about any smaller chili pepper that can fit inside a bottle will work just fine. Now, prepping the peppers is very straightforward. Remove the stems and caps and you'll be all set. Also, it's probably a good time to remind you that if you aren't certain how sensitive your skin is to capsaicin, it's best to work with gloves when handling peppers. I work with chili peppers all the time and have generally been immune to the burny skin thing, but it just takes one bad bathroom break or a forgetful eye rub to remind you that these little guys can really ruin your day. So just be careful. The first ingredient to go into the bottle are two crushed cloves of garlic. Next, fill the bottle up to its neck with peppers and really make sure you're packing them in. After the peppers, it's best to get a funnel involved to minimize mess. If you don't have one handy, you can always put together a makeshift one by rolling up a sheet of paper and inserting it into the neck of your bottle. Now we're going to add roughly one teaspoon of kosher salt. Up next is our secret ingredient, olive oil. Capsaicin, which is the spicy component in peppers, is fat soluble, meaning that it'll attach to the olive oil far better than the vinegar. So, the more olive oil you add, the hotter this sauce gets. You can start out with a little bit, maybe a teaspoon as a starter, and then go crazy from there. I added about a tablespoon to mine. Just make sure to give this bottle a good shake every time you use it so the oil and vinegar is well mixed. Finally, fill the rest of your bottle up to the top with vinegar. I use white vinegar, which is the traditional vinegar for this recipe, but you're welcome to play around with any vinegar you want, as they all add a slight difference in flavor. Also, quick pro tip is try to find one of these hot sauce bottle dripper caps. Since this hot sauce is mostly vinegar, it'll glug out of your bottle with a quickness. These caps help slow things down to a drip. They're out there on Amazon, I'm sure, but I usually just steal them from old hot sauce bottles I have laying around. And just like that, you're done. Like I said before, this sauce is perfect for when you need a couple drops of heat. Traditionally, Southerners use this sauce on collard greens, black eyed peas, and other savory dishes. But really, the uses are as endless as your preference and taste. Since this sauce is mainly vinegar, it's very shelf stable and should stay good for months if not years sitting out on a counter. Also, when you run out, just simply refill the bottle with your olive oil and vinegar. There's enough flavor and heat packed into those peppers where you can enjoy the sauce even after quite a few refills. That'll do it for this one and thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any follow-up questions. Or if you're an old pro at pepper sauces, feel free to share your tips and tricks. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more great content to come. All right, y'all. Take care.